Hey everyone, Papa Gord here. And if, if you're here with me right now, that means you're looking forward to seeing my top 10 of 2020. It's that time of the year where everybody puts out a top something of something from some year about something. That's a lot of somethings. But we're finally, we're finally there. I'm finally there. It's, this was a very difficult year to, to narrow it down to 10. And then out of that 10, say, this one particular figure is my absolute favorite over this these 10 <clears throat> plus. Now, when I was trying to do my research for this year, I lost count. I think we ended up in the early 90s was my count for Black Series releases. 90, 91, somewhere around there. And holy crap, is that a lot of stuff? Whether or not you bought all of that, that I, I know I did. Maybe not quite every single piece. There may have been one or two, especially in the repacks of the Empire Strikes Back figures. But no, I think I, I, I think I bought every single one this year. Woo. Okay. Well, nice to come to that realization. But anyways, I'm not going to get into anything else. That's why I put that other video up with that recap of 2020, because a lot of that information kind of ties into this. And I know that would have just made for such a long video that everybody probably would have just skipped to see what my number one was. So we're just gonna get into it. Couple honorable mentions, uh, a couple other, mm, we'll get to those later on, but my first honorable mention goes to Hoth pilot Luke Skywalker. I, I love this figure, just again, top 10 was very difficult. So he just missed out. I, I think he's incredible. Uh, super screen accurate looking uh, with the, the bulky padding. I know some people weren't overly thrilled because it was basically Luke in a skull cap, more or less like. So I don't have a problem with this. I think this is fantastic. He's gonna be in his snow speeder with his helmet on, hanging out with his buddy Dak from now until the end of time. So that's uh, that's one of my honorable mentions. Next honorable mention goes to one of the infamous Walmart for Ahsoka Tano from Star Wars um, Clone Wars. A lot of reuse here, so this is kind of why she's an honorable mention, but what there is new is awesome. I love the head sculpt. Look, even looks like she's got a little smirk going on like she has in the cartoon. Uh, new lightsabers, new hilts. I just wish the hands weren't reused because her hands are still designed to hold the lightsabers from her Rebels character. And they were more of a, a bit of an oval to a flat shape. So it's just the way the fingers are cut. Uh, mine, I don't know about yours, but mine uh, needs uh, some definitely some work up underneath but she is great. And to top it off, she has butterfly joints. For a tiny female character, she has a butterfly joint and that's awesome. So I wanna see more of this and more of the smaller female figures coming whenever that'll be. So those are my honorable mentions. We're getting into it, top 10. Waste no time. Best Garmando, full Best Garmando. Could be the Build Up Pack Mando. This one isn't, but Build Up Pack Mando is basically the same figure. So we finally get the Rocket Pack, which isn't the right color, but that's fine. And we get the Whistling Birds. We get his Mudhorn Signet. So there are new pieces on here. Uh, a cleaner look. Honestly, that first figure was for from basically one episode. And this was the one we all were waiting for. Some of us are still waiting for this figure. So this one's still been a bit of a pain and that could be part of a reason why it maybe sits up a little higher. But because a lot of it is kind of reused and this looks a little more shiny, that's, that's where we're starting. So number 10. 
Number eight is Endor uh, Leia. Great to see a new Leia sculpt. Uh, I think that face is incredible. The hairstyle, it's, it's nice to see a Leia finally kind of look like Leia. So Carrie Fisher may not be rolling in her grave if she sees this one, but it's got the helmet. Like it's, this is from the Heroes of Endor, not this specific one. Thank God they release these as single packs. But, uh, but yeah, it's, she's just awesome. Had to have her on here. Number eight, keep going with the women. That would be the armor. I don't care, deluxe, standard issue. They're both equally great. I like the soft goods look better, but I don't like the texture and the color of the of the soft goods on the deluxe one, which I do have. I do prefer the look of this one. Um, I have blue tacked mine in to keep it in place for when I'm posing, but oh, what, what a great figure. Love the helmet, love all the details. I love the like the, the heat resistant, like the gloves and the, the work boot style and just, uh, I the, the minute I saw the armor in The Mandalorian, I instantly was like, they better make this into a figure. And they did, and I absolutely love it. Still one of my favorite figures of the year. Number seven, Count Dooku, Christopher Lee. Fantastic looking face sculpt, better than the SH Figure Arts version, in my opinion, and other people agree. Uh, you get his lightsaber, you get a whooshy lightsaber blade that Hasbro needs to put the whooshy lightsaber blade in all lightsaber wielding figures, I think. Like, why does he get it and nobody else? That's a little strange. Just looks incredible, has some of the newer articulation. So you can't really see a lot of the joints. It's a lot more seamless. Uh, the cape works really well. You can pose it up a few different ways. So yeah, Dooku, number seven. Solid, solid seven, if not higher. And to round out the top, we're going to go number six. Whew. And that is Darth Vader. I honestly didn't think they could improve upon the A New Hope Darth Vader until this one came out. And this one is amazing. And I hate myself that it's he's sitting where he is, but that just, again, shows you the competition that there is for 2020 best of figure. Butterfly joints. You, there is so much fabric on this figure, just trying to pose him uh, with different flows of his cape is insane uh better just better articulation on a whole the chest box the upper armor uh the armor sitting over the fabric unlike episode fours it's just yeah he this this is the pinnacle vader in my collection now and it still pains me i i'm sorry sir that you're number six but he's number six Okay, we're taking a quick pause and then we'll get into the top five. So I don't know, let me know down in the comments. What did you, what have you thought of my list so far? Um, agree, disagree? I, I'd like to know what your, what your picks are as well. We're gonna, well, we can talk about it in a live stream or, or something. But um, I'm not doing, really gonna do the worst. I will say the worst wave of 2020 was wave 25. And that was the last wave of the red and black boxes. So the Attack of the Clones wave. So the basically the head sculpt and hands are the only new stuff you're getting, and we're gonna recycle the rest wave. So not not the not the best way to go out on on saying goodbye to the that box style. So that was that was pretty pretty bad. The other shout out I have is to Walmart for your exclusives. Like this guy. 
like Ahsoka, who was in my honorable mentions. Great figure. Hmm. And like this guy. Oh. Don't even get me. That this that this whole bit was enough that it you nearly broke me, Hasbro, and I nearly quit. Um I, ne I nearly quit Black Series altogether. Um, so, yes, please down with the exclusive store exclusives. Just it's it's not fair to anybody, especially when you do troop building. That is ridiculous. If you're a single figure collector like majority of myself, you, you don't put figures out like that at all and then go, well, huh. <laughs> It is what it is. Pay lots of money for them on the, the from a, a secondary seller. So yeah, so that's that, that's kind of my uh, downside. It was such a strong year. I, I'm gonna say it multiple times throughout this video. Uh, yeah, it was difficult. But let's just get into the top five and uh, let you guys get out of here. And that's that's uh, that's Tebow. He's an Ewok. He's great. He was, he was, for quite a while, uh, sitting as my number one figure of the year. So, to show that he's gone to five, uh, yeah, there's there's some really nice figures coming. But, awesome little accessories. The fur looks really neat. Uh, it's, it's such a, uh, an awesome looking figure. The articulation is nuts for how small this thing is. But... Yeah, it's 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 great. I still don't understand why Tebow was our first Ewok. That's uh, uh, still a head scratcher. But more more of this, please. This 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 is great. I feel bad that Pop Lou is never coming out of the Heroes of Endor set. Uh, that way, I I have I'd have two that could hang out. So number five, number four. And this might be a head scratcher to some people, but that would be the rebel, the Hoth rebel trooper soldier, uh, the build your own, the yes, please give me some more of this figure. Is that number four? So many accessories, so many different ways to pose. I think somebody said you can get maybe nine different looks per figure. And because it's got two different faces, one that hides in the back of the backpack here, which is genius. So you got like 18 different looks. So I guess you could have 18 of these. And this is definitely something that's been lacking in the line. We have lots of different kinds of troopers and we have moths and we have like other higher up ranking officers in the Imperial Army. And as far as going up against, there's like no, hardly anything. We, we, you know, we, we got the, 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 just the, the rebel troop commander guy with the, the Death Star plans. Uh, we had the one rebel trooper um, from the sequels. So not a lot of options there. Genius, genius. You know, at the Endor uh, trooper is going to be done the same way. And what would be awesome is if the face was the same size and you did two different faces and then you could swap those out with these guys and these guys' faces on those guys. I need to maybe get a few more of these and put them aside. So anyways, that is my number four. Number three. Dagobah Luke Skywalker. Single carded version, deluxe version with the backpack and Yoda and that gorgeous, gorgeous set. Uh, I dogged on this hardcore when this was the one that won the fan vote. Was Dagobah Luke. Um, where's my Lobot? Uh, you know, like somebody other than this. Like, no more Luke Skywalkers. Hasbro, you, you brought your A game because he is incredible. The, just the look of the arms and the musculature and just, I think this is probably the best Mark Hamill look that Hasbro's been able to pull off so far. And, and Hamill's got a face that 
is damn near impossible to get right. And, and it's obvious in the Black Series line, with especially with the updated face uh, scanning and what have you. But he is incredible. I, I added this belt on from the uh, Bespin Luke. Um, cause I, this is the only accessory I felt he was lacking. He should have come with, with this because he does look like this on Dagobah as well. So yeah, so he's my number three, just a stellar, stellar figure. <laughs> are, are you ready for this? Number two. Yes, that's what I said. Number two. Cad Bane, what a, better take his hat off. It's rude to have your hat on in the house. He is, he's fantastic. He's, he was sitting at my number one for, for a while. Uh, pretty well since I think the day I got him. He was my number one, but we're going to get to number one. The accessories that he comes with, his, I love his pistols. Like, if this doesn't scream Wild West in space, uh, I don't know what else could possibly do it for you. Because this, this is just incredible. I do wish there was some weathering on him. Because, again, he looks like he's walked out of getting a brand new tailored suit. Like, not a speck of dirt or anything on him at all. But... He's, oh yeah, this is so good. I do have the Deluxe with, with Toto 360, which even puts it even higher up, but the pistols are great. He's, he's got his little man bag going on. Of course, you, you know, you need the hat, but he still looks freaking awesome without it. It's, it, yeah, he, he's great. And I know he probably does top some people's list. This is probably the pinnacle figure for a lot of people. But not quite there yet. All right, guys. So that was that was it. So I think I think we can probably get out of here. Um, I still have to finish doing my shelves. I just, I don't know. Work starts up again tomorrow. So I don't think I'll get there. But, uh, but yeah, you know. But I suppose... We should get to my number one. Because that's what we're all here for. Now, again, I will say, like I said before, this is my list. These are my choices. I didn't put out a poll. Uh, this was just what, where my eyes go to my sh on my shelf, what figures do I take down quite often, uh, just a variety of reasons. So th this is my top 10, which may be far off from your top 10. And there's nothing wrong with that because we can all have our own opinions. Because that's, that's what this is all about. So my number one is... <laughs> it might be a head scratcher for some people. I don't know. But it's the, uh, it's the, new, re the new redesigned Imperial Stormtrooper. I, I'm, I'm at, a, honestly, I'm at a loss for words. When I'm sitting over in my chair, my eyes automatically are drawn to him, to this figure. Now, it could be how nice and bright and shiny and white, and here's me complaining about weathering on Cad Bane, and he looks like he just got a brand new suit of armor, but, uh, I... I love the Stormtroopers. Any version. Biker Scout's my favorite, but the classic traditional Stormtrooper is probably my number two, if not very close to being tied for number one. I I have a, a, a warm spot in my heart for the original mold of the Trooper. That's why, honestly, I don't really dog on it very much when we get the gaming greats Troopers that are the old mold, the old mold, just in different colors, and yeah, the legs bow on them, and you got to heat them up and straighten them out again or whatever. But to go from that figure to this, this looks like a six-inch guy wearing armor, which I don't know if that's. I 
I don't know what it is. And I, and Mr. B, I hate to uh, hate to use. Uh, oh, George Lucas. Well, we're gonna get to him later. Um, this, I don't know. This looks like a guy in a suit. That doesn't quite look like a guy in a suit. And I, he's more chunky. He's more streamlined. This, he's, it's, I don't know. I, it's just, it's, that is my figure. I love it. We've had a few versions of it already. Uh, the Remnant Stormtrooper. Paint scheme, maybe not the best uh, way for them to do this. Uh, I don't mind the orange bit on there because it's the same with the, 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 the biker scout that we just got from Amazon or toysnowman.com. Uh, so yeah, so the weathering is a little weird, but it's still an incredible figure. <laughs> and this thing. So to see the possibilities of what the original trooper or the new style trooper looks like done with color. Um, so hopefully that yellow mortar trooper, hopefully that's an indication that we'll see that eventually as well. But this is my number one this is my figure of the year so the the imperial the imperial stormtrooper so uh, again agree or disagree we all are entitled to our own opinions i just think this is it's great it's fantastic it's it's beautiful it's a work of art this is this is my pick so let me know, guys. Um, agree or disagree. I'm always down for uh, having a, a comment back and forth, whatever. Uh, sorry this was a little longer, but you know, when it, especially when it's a top whatever, it takes a little longer to get through. Um, comment, share, like, subscribe, all that usual YouTube mumbo jumbo. We're almost within 100 subscribers of 1,000, which if you haven't seen that video... Go watch it because that tells you what's in here. And I'm, I am adding more to it um, for sure. So that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was it was a hard, it was a hard road for sure. Uh, I'm, I'm glad it's done. So be prepared for my, uh, my wish list. It'll be coming soon. Later, eh? not turning off Jesus and the battery doesn't last very long on this <laughs>